In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 reasons why your style sucks. Okay, that's a little harsh, but if you're on this video or you clicked on it, you clearly have some style issues, you're not sure about what you're wearing, you don't know what to wear, maybe you're in a style rut. So I'm gonna share with you these reasons that you're gonna fall into at least one of the 10 because God knows I have. Also, if you're wondering why I am looking a little fancy this evening, it's because I am going to an awards ceremony in just a little bit. My boutique here got nominated for the Best of Tallahassee for the apparel, clothing, and gifts categories, and so we're about to go find out who the winner is. So I decided to gear this video towards moms who are trying to figure out what's going on with their style because I myself am a mother, and since become a mother, it's been kind of a struggle to keep up with having the cute things and the wearing the right stuff and, and all of the feelings. So a lot of these mistakes or issues with style have come from my own experience. Something funny. One of the main reasons why your style sucks, and I have kind of touched on this and every other point that I've given you, is because you don't spend enough time trying to figure out your own style. That's the American dream of the 90s that could take years. That doesn't mean that you have to spend hours poring over magazines and, and looking at runway shows and looking at all the blogs. When you started your job, you probably were not that great at it on the first day, were you? I highly doubt it. Or even if you were, Three months later, I bet you were absolute amazing at your job versus how you were when you first started. It's the same way with fashion. If you don't spend any of your time actually putting effort into trying to find your personal style, figure out what looks good on you, and figuring out what you like to wear, it's going to feel hard and it's just going to feel tough. So you actually do need to spend a little bit of time figuring out what works for you. The next reason why your style probably sucks is because your clothes don't fit. Guys, if you're still wearing the same t-shirt, romper, dress, whatever from 10 years ago or like pre-baby, that's great. And I also take pride when I can fit into things from a long time ago, but do they fit me well still? It's questionable. It's a, it's a lot of under teat, but I think I'm getting away with it. Or maybe you're buying things because you want it to be a certain size, or you're not willing to go up to the next size or go down a size or willing to hear the sales associate when they tell you something runs small. But if your clothes don't fit, it is going to ruin your style. It doesn't matter how expensive or amazing or stylish or whatever the item is, if it's pulling or tugging or you're constantly fidgeting with it, or it's like, gaping open somewhere. It's not going to look good and it's going to mess up your style. Very simple remedy for that. Either buy clothes that are the right size or take your clothes to a tailor and they can easily fix your clothes or maybe your old clothes that you still love, but they just need to be taken in, let out or whatnot. It doesn't cost a lot of money and it will look so much better. You think fashion is way too hard and being stylish is way too hard. And if you go and try to look stylish or put on something that's supposed to be stylish or you think might be on trend, but you're not really sure, then you're gonna go outside and everyone's going to point and laugh at you. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. So therefore you wear the most boring, safe clothes that you can find. Okay, first of all, we all go through this. It is a lot of pressure to look good and have it all and be the Instagram mom and, and have the perfect life. That does not exist, by the way. Most people are too busy thinking about themselves and how they look and what other people are thinking. They are not even gonna care what you're wearing. It's not that hard to be stylish or look put together. You just have to take a little bit of time and figure out your personal style, figure out what works for you, and it won't be so overwhelming to get dressed or try to look stylish. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. I do post videos about once a week on fashion and finding your style and all that good stuff. Okay, I am not by any means saying you need to spend a ridiculous amount on shoes or have the coolest shoes or do whatever. The only thing that you need to do is to make sure your shoes are clean. Hi, my name is Anna. I have worn dirty shoes with really nice outfits on many occasions. I fully regret that. You're like, I love these shoes. They're so comfortable and oh, nobody can really see the dirt underneath my toes and they're not that scuffed up. 
But if you're trying to look stylish, you're trying to look put together, especially if you're trying to make a good first impression, just leave the dirty shoes for the day that you're taking the kids to the park and get yourself some new ones. They don't have to be that expensive. They just need to be clean or try to clean your shoes. So no one is saying that you have to wear accessories and jewelry and belts and purses and scarves and hats and all that stuff to look stylish, but they are such an easy way to bring a boring outfit up like two or three levels. If you're not a big jewelry person, that's totally okay. I know a lot of people aren't. So try finding a belt or a scarf or some kind of little accessory that you can put on to a basic outfit and just make it look a little bit more put together. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do mention that adding that third item to your outfit automatically makes you look more stylish. So if you have a white t-shirt and your basic jeans and you're taking your kids to the park, put on a little belt. It will just automatically look so much better. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> The next reason your style might suck is because you are trying too many trends all at once. Okay, feeling good. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that probably a lot of you don't try too many trends at once. You probably don't even know what's trending or you're not having tried any of them. Okay, you did not just say that. If you're trying to put on a leopard print top with a suede jacket with a leather hat, with a rhinestone belt, some cowboy boots, hoop earrings, a feather skirt, you're gonna look a little crazy. What's up? If that's your jam, go for it, you do you. And honestly, if it is your jam, you're gonna feel amazing and no one's gonna even question you. They're gonna be like, wow, what an amazing outfit. But for most of us, that would be a little much. We'd probably feel really uncomfortable and it probably wouldn't look very flattering. The best thing to do is to try out like one trend, put it with your basics, like your jeans or some basic top or something like that. And that way you're trying out the trend, but you don't have some full head to toe, like cat suit with all leopard suede. Does that even exist? The next reason your style sucks is because you only shop the sale rack. Now, hold on. Don't get me wrong, sale racks are great for finding deals and bargains. You can check out my video where I talk a little bit more about this up here. But if you're only shopping the sale racks, you are limiting yourself to the items that didn't sell in the store and so they've had to mark them down. And the reason why they've done that is because either customers didn't like them, they fit weird, it's a funky color. There's something usually just people aren't really that into. So if you're limiting yourself to those items, you may end up with a little bit weird looking style. The other thing is basics, like basic white tees and crisp white collared shirts, they don't normally end up on the sale rack. And these are key pieces that if you have in your wardrobe, you can actually make a lot more outfits with what you have. I'll link a video up here that talks a little bit more about that. So the best thing here is to really take some time, again, to figure out your personal style, know what you need, know which items in your closet that you are missing that would really complete your wardrobe. And that way, when you go shopping and you look at a sale rack, you're not just gonna buy a bunch of crap because it's cheap. You're gonna know what you're looking for. Like if you really need some long sleeve tops that are printed and red looks good on you, you will be able to skim through that sale rack and identify what you need immediately, get it, see if it's in your size, try it on, and then you have won at the sale rack game. The next reason why your style probably sucks is because you think fashion and style is for simple-minded, dumb people. I object. While that might be true in many occasions, that doesn't mean that just because you care about the way you look means that you're simple-minded or shallow or vain or all those negative words that people use when people are just kind of jealous of somebody else's style. Let's be real, guys. Fashion is also for people who want to make a good first impression, care about themselves, care about how they show up in the world, like to feel good in what they're wearing, and honestly, I love colors, I love changing my outfit, I love putting weird things together on my body. So, all these reasons are perfectly fine and wonderful. You don't have to think of yourself as being vain just because you want to dress up and look good. 
The next reason why your style probably sucks is because you think you're too old, fat, wrinkled, ugly, short to wear cute clothes. Listen, I shake my head, but... Hi, my name is Anna. I have felt on many occasions I was too old, too wrinkled, too fat to wear a lot of different things, and I realized that that is untrue. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Most all women feel insecure about how they look a lot of the time. In 10 years, we're all gonna look back and be like, why was I so crazy? Like, why didn't I just wear the dang thing? So no, you're not too any of those things to be stylish. Do not shortcut yourself. If you want to look good and you want to wear fashionable things, you want to look stylish, do not decrease your self-worth and say you're not worthy enough to wear cute things and pretty things and things that you feel good in. Stop that. Another reason why your style probably sucks is because your clothes are uncomfortable. I like that it has a strong message. I am afraid that I'm gonna zip my bush up in there. So if you're uncomfortable in what you are wearing, you're gonna be tugging at it. It's not gonna feel good. And we have all seen those young girls walking across the restaurant and they're like, because their heels are way too high, they don't fit well, or whatever the reason, and they're just like, because their clothes don't fit and they're trying to wear something really scandalous and skimpy and they're just not comfortable in it. So if you're wearing clothes that are uncomfortable, be it a, super tight dress or big fluffy sweaters or multiple layers and that maybe you think looks cute but it's just itchy and hot and just you don't feel good it's not going to look good either so you do need to make sure that your clothes are comfortable and yes you can be stylish and comfortable at the same time it is possible ladies i promise and it's not even that hard thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful i have tons of other videos that are helpful with trying to figure out your style so check out those links in the description also again if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and also please give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it i'll see you guys next time earrings no earrings earrings no earrings